Welcome to the Wessex Wire Fall Varsity Media Day. I'm Justin Misher, sports editor for the Wessex Wire, and I'm here with girls soccer. Hi, I'm Sophie Foodham, and I'm a senior defender. I'm Logan Goldstein, I'm a senior center mid. I'm Kalei Guzman, and I'm a senior center mid. Hi, I'm Coach Fagiani. What are your main team goals for the season? So, one of our main goals is obviously to win and just to win as many games as possible. Our goal is to get to states, make it to the final, same with counties, and for our conference, we kind of just want to be on top. I think that because it's our last season, the three of us especially, we the season goes by really fast, and we want to make sure every game counts, and the time we have together is spent working hard and having fun. Kind of what you guys said, you had a great run in states last year. How do you kind of build off that momentum and that success and carry it on to this season? Yeah, so our run in states, it comes from our motivation because we've always been kind of on the bottom half of the seed. So I think we always look to be the underdog in states. Um, I think it's sometimes it's just frustrating how far we get in the tournament and then we never end up winning. And it's always a good run, but I think definitely want to capitalize in the finals and like just win it all. I think it's important to be more consistent throughout the entire season. So as far as winning, obviously we want to win every game like Kalaya mentioned before. Um, but to be consistent throughout a season that seems short at times, but is pretty long considering the amount of games that we do play, um, to challenge them to be focused every single game is definitely hard. It's definitely hard to, to remain consistent throughout the entire season. So um, players are aware of that. The captains are aware of that. So we just have to try to dictate that throughout the whole year. You guys have had a strong start to the season. What has sparked? that early success so far? Um, I feel like every year it's always like good chemistry, a good team, but I feel like this year specifically, like everyone's so close together. Everyone's like always good energy, always positive attitude. There's no like, ne- there's really like nothing negative at practice at games, like team bonding wise. Like it's a really just like happy, strong team. And I feel like because we work so well together, we've been able to like really succeed in the first few games. Yeah, I think there's no bad blood between any of us. And I think starting in the summer we we probably saw each other three times a week just playing soccer and having fun so I think that definitely prepared us from when we started the season and we're coming out strong so yeah definitely and everyone on the field is extremely like motivational everyone's positive lifting each other up so I feel like that definitely contributes to like just our like strong motivation and drive on the field what role does chemistry play in your success on the field and how do you kind of build that bond and chemistry off of the field we've seen it the other way with teams we play against where they're frustrated with each other they're not really connected and they're kind of individuals on the team but with us I think like we said there's no bad blood we are all friends on and off the field so I think being able to lift each other up on the field is what is setting us apart I feel like we're this year we all want to play for each other not even for ourselves but like we all genuinely like love each other and love playing with each other and I think that part of the reason that we've had success is because like we all want to play and succeed for everyone else not just us which is a really good thing are there any like pre-game traditions or rituals that you guys have before each game um we have something called the conch which is literally like a big hard ball of tape this like superstition tradition that we do every season we throw it at the wall by our locker room and then we do this like forward, backward, like up the field. And it's, it's a really funny tradition, but it can't fall on the ground or else it's like bad luck. And we do that for every game, which is like gets everyone like really excited in a good mood. Yeah. And we don't step on the nights. Like going up to the yeah. field, we mm-hmm. can't step on like the lettering that says nights or else it's also bad luck. Mm-hmm. We make sure to stay in a strict two <laughs> lines because one, we want to intimidate the other teams and yeah. two, it, it looks really cool for us. Yeah. We're working on that this year. Coach. You have been the coach of the girls' soccer team for six years now. What makes this group special, and what do you kind of say to your players before they go out and compete before each game? Well, I will say for the six years I've been doing it, I've been very lucky that every group and every year, every senior class has been very good to each other um, as far as getting along. Uh, You mentioned team chemistry um, in some ways, and and more groups than others, um, maybe even a little bit more strong chemistry. Um, with this group, they were 100% spot on with how they get along with each other and work together um, to accomplish, you know, winning a game, getting possession back, uh, small goals within a game um, they're achieving. As far as motivation for games, um, just helping them realize that they are as good as they are. Uh, I think sometimes we look at teams and value maybe their best player 
But I think the girls have to realize that they're all very talented players. Is there any specific win or memory that you guys have had throughout the last four years that really has like stuck with you? Personally, my favorite memory probably like all throughout high school, like soccer seasons. Last year, um, county semifinals, we played Livingston. And Livingston is always like a big rival. Like for me specifically, it's just like always the game I'm most excited for. Like I just, I love playing against Livingston and they're a very, very good team. And we haven't beat them in a while. And they were undefeated last year. And then we played them in county semifinals and we probably played one of our hardest games. And we tied them. Well, we lost in penalty kicks, double overtime penalty kicks. But it was their first tie on like their like score thing, and we were just obviously we wanted to win. But we were so proud of ourselves last year in the state quarterfinals against Bernard's. Mm-hmm. I think that was probably one of the most exciting games we've played because we were back and forth scoring. Like, the energy just did not get lower; it only got higher, and we ended up winning that game. And yeah. And also, I like Livingston game, too. There was just, like, a big crowd there. There was, like, I think there was a game after us, and because we went into, like, overtime and penalty kicks, there was just, like, a huge crowd. Everyone was cheering us on. So it just definitely added to that atmosphere and just, like, re- made me really love that night. So, yeah. You guys are all seniors. What life lessons have you learned from West Essex Girls soccer, and what do you hope to take away from the sport? I definitely learned just, like, just, like, being a part of a team here and just, like, being a leader and... And also just like motivation and just like consistency because we practice every day and we have like a lot of games. So it's kind of just like motivation to like, you know, go on the field like every day and just like practice as hard as I can. Me, Sophie and Kalea have been playing together since we were literally like seven years old on travel team and club team. Like we literally grew up together playing this sport. So I would just say like the biggest thing is just like when we were younger, like we would look at the varsity seniors and the captains and like think like they're such great leaders they're so good like they're so old and like now like we're them and it just like really like shows like how I know it's like corny but like how time flies like it's really crazy that like we're here when we were like just watching these seniors there's so many ways that I could answer this question but I think most importantly none of us could do this alone and we're all in this together and we lift each other up and we're always there for each other so I think that just doesn't even apply to just soccer. Like, it's teamwork, everything that we do. Thank you, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank, Thank you. you.